Possibly my aunt Polkar show. People keep seeing the Mothman. It was a normal summer night for John M. Maitrio, A M I T R A N O, working a Friday shift at security for Chicago's populous Logan Square hangout, the Owl. But when he went inside, he found something. He saw something odd. I saw a plane flying, but also moving, really awkwardly under it. It didn't look like bats so much as a, what the illustrations of a pe- period Ecuador's look like. P T E R O D A C T Y L S. The tenderness of its head and its wing shape. I know the birds and the bats look like. This thing didn't have any feathers or fur. It didn't fly like anything ever seen. Amos Trito added the thing he saw which according to him and mus- had muscular legs, jutting tailbone, human-like shape, fly- flew in, strange swooping motion, undulating up and down. After it flew away, he reprieved his phone from charging in a bar, texted his girlfriend and close friends to what happened. I remember thinking this was the first time in the world I had my phone charged and he laughed. What Emerito saw that night was one hundred and fifty five reported Chicago area sightings of a flying humanoid in twenty seventeen and accounts have varied from a large black bat like being with glowing red eyes to a big owl or something that resembled a gothic gargoyle or mothman. Most of the eyewitnesses spotted a bit of being in flight but some particularly disturbed reports detailed it dropping into hoods of cars, peering in through windows are swooping down by by star, at, at bystanders. And as his mothman was captured, the attention of the city from local media articles, rap songs, Halloween costumes, and countless speculative Facebook groups. Emerito later remembered seeing something on Facebook about the sightings. As he read it about it, he contacted Lou Schriftler, S T R I C. K L E R, self described Fortune researcher who's been compiling all the Chicago sightings in his website, Phantoms and Monsters. Stickler, whose book, Moth Fantasy, Chicago's Winged Hemorrhoids, was is available to read, has been investigating paranormal sightings since the 1970s, claims to have seen both of Mothman and Bigfoot. Since the rash of sightings started in February, he been painstakingly interviewing witnesses and ad- documenting their accounts. According to Strickler, these Chicago sightings were unlikely anything he's seen in decades of escape alleged flying humanoid sightings. A great group of his sightings historical in cryptozoology terms. For one, it's happened in an area in a part, most part, there's so many sightings in one period. He added he believes that uh, there are at least three flying humanoids around Chicago. Due to varied locations, the concentration of sightings in certain neighbourhoods and the small differences in eyewitnesses' testimonies. The main reference point Sitka uses for explaining this phenomenon was the wave reported Wolfman sightings in Port Pleasant, West Virginia, from 1966 to 1967. There were several reports of a large man like bird, bird who had glowing eyes. Local folklore later tried, tried, tied the monster to a bad omen connected with tragic bridge collapse in 1967. The scientists were popularised by the John Kill 1975 novel The Mothman Prophecies, which was later adapted into 2002 films starring Richard Gere and Laura Linnery. And since 2002, the town has commemorated the Mothman sightings of an annual festival. Stickler doesn't believe that the Chicago, Chicago people have been are seeing our homebangers of bad things to come. These beings are less aggressive than the one in present Pound Pheasant for the part, first, most part. I believe overall there's only one thing in Pound Pheasant area that's been doing that area. While well, he's not sure why Chicago people are seeing what they're seeing, he realizes I think they're flesh and blood beings and they ain't of this world. Dr. David A. Gallo is a psychist from the University of Chicago. 
search details, search details, memory, specifically how people actually and sometimes indirectly reconstruct the past, studying why people believe in believe or are skeptics of paranormal psychic phenomenon, a fan of the Mothman prophecies. He offered his own explanations of what happened in Chicago. It's a deceptive simple sample. When people are choosing to report sightings, the basis of data upon which your your paranormal research is collecting, it's all self-report. It's not sampling random people, it's asking them if they saw the Mothman. Just counting the number of people that voluntarily came forward to report a sighting. According to Galloway, the people most likely to visit a paramedic centre website like Shakers might be more inclined to believe in or therefore witness the existence of a mothman. Ideas about supernatural can be culturally transmitted and socially transmitted. With instances of UFOs reported in the media or represented in popular culture, more sightings happen. I heard it called the Will Smith Factor. Right. The trickler didn't buy that expectation. We have had many cranks from what I can tell, which I think is pretty unusual. If the media would have picked out on it more than, than it has, I think we would have more free fraudulent sightings. So many things could be different factors for uh, why such a big uptick of the sighting, Gallio stated. Adding to it, he doesn't know that witnesses saw something out of the ordinary. There's some one in there where there's basically some real witness experience, but there are holes in the gaps in that original experience. Sometimes the mind is unable to fill in the gaps. If something is suggested to them subsequently as opposed to a scenario like a mothman or whatever, people might be inclined to fill the gaps with it. That. Well, Gaila's theory for why other people have been seen slightly annoyed. Might help smooth the nerves of Chicago people afraid to look up in the sky. Adam Winter still believes he saw something that night. The reason I said something in the first place is nobody wants to say anything because they don't want to be perceived as a crackpot or crazy person. That doesn't mean that these sort of things don't happen.